I have a black canvas so I can demonstrate a few flowers before we start putting them on our canvas. And the first one I'm going to demonstrate is the daisy. So I have a small flat brush. This looks like maybe a half, half inch. And I'm going to load it with white, keeping it nice and sharp. Load two thirds of the way down the bristles, not on the handle. And I'm going to dip one corner and some blue. The brush nice and sharp, straight, handle straight out from the canvas. The blue goes towards the middle. We'll make a little mark for where we'll make our middle. So then we put our brush, I'm going to tilt it a bit so you can see, but we put our brush a little ways from the middle, touch the canvas, push and slide in towards the middle. And then you go around and you do that in a circle. And if it doesn't touch, don't worry, because we're going to put a little center in. Get it as close as you can to the center. And you can go over the ones that don't look right. Load it again, keep it flat, touch the corner in some blue, wipe on our palette to smooth a little bit of the blue off. You don't want it overwhelming. Okay, so we're going to hold our paintbrush straight out from our canvas, touch and push. Now if I push really hard, maybe I'm getting up too high. If I push really hard, it'll be white, wide. If I push lightly, it'll be push lightly. Oh, got my blue going the wrong way. Lightly. It'll be smaller and thinner. If I push harder, it'll be wider. And that um, little part there you want going in for a petal. So you want to drag it in towards the center. If we go the other way from the center, it'll make pointed petals, which we don't want for this. We want the rounded and kind of pointed in towards the middle. So that's why we're going in towards. I usually put lots of paint on and then just through I touch a little in the corner, blend. This time we'll make a daisy that faces up. Let's practice the same stroke but curl it. And all you do is the same little bit of pressure, lift, push, lift and curl. So to face one up, curl one that way, curl one that way. Those are the ones on that side. We load a little blue to the bottom and put your ones on this side. And if you, we'll show the stems after we get a few done. Okay, so let's have one hanging down and we're going to make it. And we're going to curl that in because it's it's on the front. So we do a couple curling in. Back ones. And let's say this one's just facing sideways a little bit. And then we put the center. We want it totally facing sideways. Maybe spacing sideways and up. We don't even have any blue on, see, and it's lacking a shadow. Oh, now it's got too much blue. There's your difference. Okay, here we go. And then we'll wipe that blue. 
Hold up. Now, the other thing I want to show you is little buds. A lot of the times you'll have a daisy like this and then you'll have like a little bud. So let's do a little daisy here. Sharpen up that brush. And sometimes you have a little um, petal that drops down as well. And then up here, we have a few buds, so curl a couple in on them, each other. And then this one may be partially open down here. Starting to open, not open at all. Again, one more time, a good practice for this would be to take your brush, straight out, touch, push. Now you could do stems with a sharp, same brush, nice and sharp. this to be part of the same flower. And also this one. Now to add a few leaves, use the same brush, go into some green, I got some dark green, nice and flat, put some yellow on the corner, and blend a little. Yellow you want the highlight to be on the tips, so it's very similar to this, we'll practice it maybe right here first. So we want to push harder though. Push and make it round and bring it in. So we have to, very similar to this, but we're going to push a little harder and a little shorter stroke to make it round and fatter. So the same loading of the brush. And we want it in towards, and you can put a little curl in it as well. So we want a little one up here. Push a little hard. Little curl. And you want them to overlap the uh, the vine in some places, so it looks like they're in the front. Okay. And if you want, like maybe a little long piece of grass coming up beside it. Put a little more yellow on that, maybe for a highlight. Sorry. Yellow is a very transparent color. I find in most cases, so add a little white to it and it'll work for you better. Okay, so again, that stroke is very similar to the daisy, but you want to push harder and not go so far. Okay, so let's put a little vine on this one here. Because it's um, I want to 
add a little bit of leaves there to cover some of it because it's a side view. This one, same thing, but it's hanging. And this one's come into this one as well. There we go. There's not very many that I made here where the sun is showing, but this one there would be. We'll go into some green and yellow with the back of our brush. And then dab. A little center in. And that way it gives it a few different colors. So I'm just gonna add some push hard and curl into the vine. Hard. Oops, two there, twins. Okay, so that's basically the daisy. You can do it in any color you want. So I've cleaned this canvas off, and so just ignore the upside down marks here. So for the sunflower, for the center, we use a bristly brush so we can dab. This is a filbert. And I'm going to start with some brown. And I'm going to use the center to indicate which way my sunflower is going to be facing. So we'll do one facing straight ahead. These can be all different sizes and there's different types of uh, petals for sunflowers as well. Maybe even perfectly round for straight ahead. They're almost. And then we want to add some texture looking because sunflower centers are full of little seeds with an indent in the center, which we'll dab in with some black. Um, let's do one more first. Let's have this guy facing down. He hung, he's looking right down there. Okay, so that'll give us a few to do. Dab those in. And add a little black to our brush. And dab in the centers. Looks like an in indented center. And this one's facing down, so the indent will be more to the front. A little white. You can always add a little highlight after, but we're doing the centers. So that's how you'd add some highlight. For the petals, we're going to use a flat three quarter inch. You could even use a bigger one than this if you want it. Um, I've got some bright yellow and some yellow ochre here. I'm going to load with yellow ochre on one side and run it through some bright yellow on the other. And let's practice our strokes here. So for this one, I'm going to, same thing, straight out. I'm tilting to show you, but it would my brush would be straight out from the canvas like this. And I would go a little ways from the center, touch, push really hard and drag into my center. Now that's a little bit hard, I was exaggerating. You don't want to spread your paint. Yellow is a very transparent paint, like I say. So 
You have to find a way of loading up your brush really good. Okay, so let's practice that right here. Another one to do for sunflowers is a, a pointy sunflower, which there's there's there is sunflowers like that, and their leaves are more. Oops. You might even want to sharpen your brush up more for that. You push and lift, going out. I like the ones that go in. I think they're more attractive. Um, if I was doing these ones, I'd probably use maybe a heavier brush. So, again, push and lift, push and lift. And you can always let them dry and go over them once, is what I do a lot with sunflowers because of the yellow. And we won't use any clear medium for this petal because the yellow is already so transparent. So if your brush gets gucked up, just clean it off and start over. And you can curl the petals as well. And it's the same thing. You push the same way, lift the same way, you just add a curl into it. So if you wanted your petals curling. So practice that. Keep your brush sharp, loaded well. And how we do that again is we drag through some yellow, drag it through some, and we have a nice loaded brush. Ready to go. I'll start with the straight on one. So a little ways from the center. I'm going to touch and go in. Might have to get a feel for this. See? Yeah, yeah, it's better. Don't worry if it goes over your middle because we can put them back in. Okay, so let's let that dry a little bit and maybe go around it again. And then we'll do the center. And we'll go on to one of the other ones. Okay, so this one is facing down this way. So let's visualize what the leaves would look like. Maybe start with curling a few in the direction that they would be curling and just sharpen up my brush This one's pointing right down, so all the... So we'll do the back ones first.
go. Okay, I'll let them dry a little bit. I'll come in and fix them up. This time I'm going to add a little bit of white to my yellow to make it so it's not so transparent. And we'll go over our petals. Also, if you want, you can add petals at this point. Keep the little bit of white in there, make them a little lighter and more in front. Oops. Now these ones are a little darker, look back here, but put a little white in there. And keep my brush sharp. Well loaded. So just to recap the petals, we'll do a little more practice up here where you can see. It's touch, straight out, brush straight out, push, and lift. Push and lift. Push and lift. And then you can always go into the center. So, Get something out. A great thing to practice on is wax paper. It's a nice smooth surface. Brush glides. You can, th you know, throw it out. Let it dry and use it for a palette. Okay, so at this point, take a filbert. Go into some brown. back in. You could also add a little bit of crimson there if you wanted to. I haven't got any on the brush this time, but adds a nice bit of reddish to the brown. And leave your indent in the center.
Okay, so to do the stems of these, they're pretty thick. So I loaded the same three quarter inch flat brush uh, with a green and put a little rent touched it into the yellow. And whichever way my light was coming from would be the way the light, the yellow would be facing. So here we'd have a few more almost petal like So you do the same stroke as the petal. A little bit smaller and then you'd have this coming. With this one, you wouldn't see it. It would be coming out at the bottom at the back. And they're pretty thick. That's a little bit too thick. We'll put a leaf in front of it. So you want to stay up on your edge to avoid that. This one would be coming out here. It would be behind everything. 